All right, it is uh, snowing. We were getting lots and lots of snow today. And I am heading home to go snowshoe with my kids. This should be a lot of fun. We're gonna go down to Lions Park and there is a spot where we can get into the park and uh, just do some snowshoeing without a whole lot of craziness. There's not a ton of snow, so I'm not sure how this is gonna actually go. Who's gonna wear the the red ones? I think it's Shara. Shara, who's Shara? You, hey, don't touch the dirty car. Why would you do that? Don't touch the cars, please. They're all yucky. All right, family of seven snowshoeing. Do we have seven pairs of snowshoes? Yep. So supposedly these would be mine. Okay, those are good ones. And these are mine. All right. So mom's wearing those, I'm wearing those, Ella's wearing those, Eddie's wearing those. And right. I'm wearing those. Okay, we'll see how long we last in this shindig. All right, so it is a blizzard outside in St. Croix Falls. There was a big advisory for snow this morning and up until like noon, we didn't get hardly anything. And now you can look out the window it is a big white mess. So we we're hoping that this would come last night so we could go snowshoeing today. We're still gonna go snowshoeing today, but we're gonna do it a little bit crazier while it's still blizzarding. So we only have a mile drive to where we're gonna go. And then we're gonna pile out our five kids and try and figure out how to snowshoe. Are you guys excited? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yes. All right, we will not go this way home. This is just our get, get down here. A little slippery. Just a tad five kids and my wife and we are doing the Ice Age Trail in St. Croix Falls. It's uh, about three inches of snow and two o'clock. It's snowing really heavy right now as you can probably see. I got one straggler there and then I've got a brood of kids and mama up there. So we're having a lot of fun. All well, last winter we moved into our house and there wasn't a lot of snow and it was a little bit of a, a rush with everything that we were doing uh, with family and everything so we didn't get a chance to go snowshoeing at all and that's been one of the fun things that I've enjoyed living in the country for uh, the last couple years and so most of the last two years we've picked up snowshoes for all of our kids at garage sales and Walmart and whatnot and so everybody has a pair of shoes except for uh, Max our youngest is actually in a sled but he is um, he's got a pair of shoes he just prefers not to use them right now and there's no forcing a three-year-old to get in a pair of shoes so here's my here's my fam check you guys out Okay, give everybody some space. All right. How we doing? Look, Max is pulling his own sled. Oh, look at that. The water is flowing. 
That's really flowing pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. What's the matter, Sawyer? Sawyer, what's the matter? You're just giving up? That's how people turn into snowmen. Stand up. Stand up. Use your use your poles to stand up. You want Max to pull you? Here you go, bud. Keep plugging along. You're doing great. So what do you do for exercise and family fun in the winter? Well, in Wisconsin, we can go sledding, we can go skiing, and we can go uh, snowboarding or even snowshoeing or cross-country skiing. And right now, we are enjoying um, a trail that is uh, unbroken out in the National Park, um, part of the Ice Age trail system. And uh, so we're on a spur trail um, heading towards the Ice Age trail in St. Croix Falls. Not that you could see it, but pretty much we are walking along the path of the river. That's the river right there. It's a lot of fun and uh, it's a great way to get together with your family and get out in the snow and enjoy it. And nobody's complaining at this point or very little complaining. So. Keep going, who wins? Who's gonna win? Woo! I don't know how far that was, but that was pretty good. 